We thus for you, we thus for you, oh God. Let it rain on Maria, Maria, till it overflows. We thus for you, Lord. We thus for you, Spirit of the living God. Maria. With us for you, with us for you, with us for you, Lord. Let it rain on us, pour it out, till it overflows. With us for you, just like the deer, hunted for the streams of the water. Let it rain on us, pour it out. for you oh God let it rain on us pour it, pour it out on us till it overflow till it overflow and Lord indeed oh God with us for you wherever you are just go before the Lord and tell him that you long for him just like the deer planted for the streams of water Lord we long it for you oh God Lord, we desire your presence, O oh God. May you fill us afresh, O oh God. Blow in our eyes, O oh God. Fill us up, O oh God, with your Holy Spirit, O oh God. For we long it after thee, O oh God. Holy Spirit of God, O oh God, may you fill us afresh this day, O oh God. Renew our hearts today, O oh God, our minds, O oh God. May our minds, O oh God, be, be transformed, O oh God, by your word, O oh God. Holy Spirit of God, you are welcome in this place, O oh God. Come and have your way, O oh God. You are welcome here. Come flood this place and feel the atmosphere. Your glory, God, is all our hearts long for to be overcome by your praise, Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, oh, come fly, come fly, come fly, come fly, oh, your glory, Lord, your glory, God is all It's all our heart's desire, desire, to be, to be, to be, by your Come, 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 come
you are here, O oh God. Thank you, O oh God, for your presence, O oh God. Thank you that you'll never leave us, O oh God. O oh, wonderful counselor, O oh God. O oh, wonderful teacher, O oh God. We thank you, O oh God, for your wonderful, O oh God. Counsel, O oh God. You teach us, O oh God, your ways, O oh God. You guide us, O oh God. Without you, O oh God, we are nothing, O oh God. We need you, O oh God, in every, O oh God, aspect, O oh God, of our lives, O oh God. May you guide us, O oh God, Holy Spirit of God, O oh God. May we be aware, O oh God. Let us become more aware, O oh God, of your presence, O oh God. May we hearken, O oh God, to your voice, O oh God. Have your will, O oh God. Speak life, O oh God, into us, O oh God. Lord, we love you, O oh God. You are here, O oh God. Thank you, O oh God, for your presence, O oh God. Oh, I know you are here, here in your glory. I know you are here, precious Holy Spirit. I know you are here. Here in your power, I know you are here, precious Holy Spirit, I know you are, I know you are here.
control here and now. Take control. Take control here and now. Take control. Oh, we surrender. Take control. Oh, here and now. Take control. Take control. Take control. Take control. Take control. That you'll take control, oh God, in our lives, oh God, in our destinies, oh God, in everything, oh God, pertaining our lives, oh God. We ask you, oh God, to have your way, oh God, because, oh God, we can't do anything, oh God, without you, dear God. Lord, we are here for you, oh God. You're the reason as to why, oh God, we came, oh God. Oh God, we thank you, dear God, that you've got everything, oh God, in your hands, oh God. And thank you, dear God, that you have good plans for us, oh God. Have your way, oh God. Be our guide, oh God. For we need you, Lord. 
Lord, we need you, God, more than anything else, oh God, in this world, oh God. May we love you, God, more than the things, oh God, of this world, oh God. And may we seek, oh God, to know you more, oh God, Holy Spirit of God, oh God. Thank you, oh God, that you are always kind to us, oh God. You're so faithful, oh God. There's none like you, Lord, we exalt your name, oh God. There's none like you, oh God. There'll never be one like you, oh God. You alone, oh God, remain to be God, oh God. You're the God, oh God, who moves mountains, oh God, in our lives, oh God. There could be mountains, oh God, surrounding us, oh God. But we know, oh God, that you you are able, oh God, with you, oh God, we can stand before those mountains, oh God, and make them, oh God, to go away, oh God. Oh God, we believe for oh God in your name oh God take control oh God in our lives oh God in our destinies oh God have your way oh God we bless your name oh God and you move mountains you cause walls to fall with your power perform miracles there is nothing that's impossible and we're standing here only because you you move you move you cause walls to fall you cause walls to fall with your power perform miracles perform miracles there is nothing there is that's impossible So God, oh God, you've been so good to us, so God, you've made our way, oh God, for us, so God, and this is our testimony, oh God, that you remain to be faithful, oh God, you'll never change, oh God, you're unchangeable, oh God, your love, oh God, is unconditional, oh God, your love, oh God, has still remained, oh God, to be steadfast, oh God, oh God, why didn't not for you, oh God, was on our side, oh God, where would we be, dear oh God, but because, oh God, of your, of your love, oh God, because of your grace, oh God, we are standing here. Oh God, to say, oh God, that you made a way, oh God. Oh God, we give you all the glory, oh God. We give you all the honor, oh 
God. We give all the praise to God. For you made a will, God. Only you, God, could have made the will, God. No one else could, oh God. Oh God, when our backs, oh God, were against the wall, oh God, you made a way for us, oh God. Lord, we thank you, God, for your love. We thank you, Jesus. Oh, oh. Understanding it, and it's standing only because, only because oh, you made it. And we're standing it, and we're standing it, only because, only because oh, you and made it. And we're standing oh, it, only because you made it. And we're standing it, as we're standing here, full of testimony. once more. Amen. 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 We want to tell God that there is none like him. That's why we want to sing to him this Swahili song called by goes by Hakuna Mungu Kama Wewe. Are you ready? Yes. Yeah. Hakuna Mungu Kama Wewe Hakuna Mungu Kama Wewe Hakuna Mungu Kama Wewe Hakuna Na Hata Imba hakuna Hakuna mungu kama Oh we. hakuna Hakuna mungu kama We Hakuna mungu kama We Hakuna na hata kuwepo Imba hakuna Hakuna mungu kama We Hakuna mungu kama Hakuna mungu kama Oh we. sijampo na Tafuta kote kote nimezunguka kote kote hakuna na hata kuwepo nimetembea nimetembea kote kote nimetafuta kote nimezunguka Kuwepo. Ni metembea, ni metembea Kote, kote, ni metafuta Kote, kote, ni mezunguka Kote, kote, hakuna na hata kuwepo Ni metembea, ni metembea Kote, kote, ni metafuta Kote, kote, ni mezunguka Kote, kote, hakuna na hata kuwepo Hakuna na hata kuwepo Hakuna na hata kuwepo Oh, hakuna Hakuna na hata kuwepo oh. It's a joy and an honor to gather once again to hear what the Lord has in store for us. Thank you so much. And God truly adieu you well. It's another Wednesday that it has pleased our Master and our Father and our Lord, the Father of our Lord Jesus, to, to, to speak to our hearts, to encourage us during these uh, even seasons of adversity when many of us, we still have lingering questions within our minds. Is God still involved? Is still God you know, involved? Is still God in control? of the affairs of the nation. And indeed, God is. And so we, we, we have all the reasons to praise him and to worship him and to glorify him because he is the king of kings. So, fellow uh, 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 child of God, you know, viewing us, listening to us, we'd like to welcome you and invite you even to, uh, for the Lord to speak to us for a short period that we are going to hear his word. We truly believe 
from our hearts that you will be blessed with us. You will be revived with us. You will experience the Lord's revival uh, together with us. That, that's our prayer. Uh, I would like to invite you to uh, journey with us in Psalms 46. A psalm written by the sons of Korah. Psalms 46. Please, if you are there, uh, you can read with me. I wish we were uh, back in the church. I would really tell you to confirm from your neighbor. But quite, you know, unfortunate. Uh, it's only, you, you, it, it might be uh, that you're only alone in your, in your house. And so please, if you are there, we can read together. Psalms 46. Psalms 46, verse 1 to the end of the psalm. The Bible says, God is our refuge and strength and ever-present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, though the heart give way. And the mountains fall into the heart of the sea, though its waters roar and foam, and the mountains quake with their surging. There is a river whose streams make glad the city of God, the holy place where the Most High dwells. God is with her. She will not fall. God will help her at daybreak. Other versions say God will help her in the morning. Nations are in uproar. Kingdoms fall. He lifts his voice. The heart melts. The Lord Almighty is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. Come, friends, and see what the Lord has done. The desolations he has brought on the earth. He makes war cease to the ends of the earth. He breaks the bow and shatters the spear. He burns the shields with fire. He says, be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among nations. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord Almighty is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. Shall we bow down for a word of prayer? Lord Almighty, it has, it has pleased you to give us another opportunity to be encouraged from your living word, to be revived, Lord, from your word under the, and, under the church which you have bought with your own precious blood, to be encouraged of you even during these seasons of hopelessness. Father, would you speak to our hearts? Would you speak to that viewer, Lord, who is following us on live? Would you speak, Lord, into our situations, even at this our moment as we hear your word? We love you, our Father, and we honor you because you have loved us more. As, Lord, I speak of your word, grant utterance, grant wisdom even to divide truthfully uh, and correctly your word. And, Lord, may it bring uh, uh, fruitfulness into our hearts. And these are our prayer of faith in Jesus' name. Amen. You can say amen. As I'd say, this is a psalm of the sons of Korah singing to the, to the children of Israel or celebrating Jerusalem, celebrating Zion as the home of God. You know, it is perceived that during this season, the children of Israel were going through turbulent seasons. We are going through difficult uh, seasons, perhaps as we can think we are going through with COVID at hand and also many other things, even, you know, natural calamities and what of you. But to the children of Israel, as we will discover, it seemed to be something different, but so threatening to their life. You know, it's, it's recorded to be something different that they, they, they had to find refuge. They had to be reminded of who God is, you know, in their lives. And the children of, I mean, the, the Koranites, who formed a greater segment or branch of the praise and worshippers among the children of Israel. Korah uh, happens to be, uh, I think, a nephew to Moses. And so they, they happen to be some of the people whom God had anointed, you know, to, to, to lift up praise, to lift up songs, which would minister to the hearts of the children of Israel. And at such a time as this, you know, like our praise and worshippers who, you know, did put us in the place of the Lord, reminding us who he is. You know, he moves mountains. He does all those things. 
reminding us of his sovereignty. Such people were, were, were the sons of Korah. In such time as that, they would sing such songs to remind the children of Israel who God was. And one of the things that they cite in this psalm, they tell the children of God, God is ever timely, ti timeliness, even in the season of hopelessness. You know, God is ever present, even during these seasons of hopelessness, that we ought not to fear. In, psalm, in that Psalms 46, 1, God is our refuge. God is our hiding place. God is our strength. You know, ever present help in time of trouble. And they paint, you know, a picture that is so troubling to a rational mind, to a mind that is so realistic. It, they, they, they paint a picture there that, such that it could be, it cannot be grasped by somebody who, you know, logic is their, their in, in key thing. I'm not saying that logic, being logical, is anything bad. But to such statement that the children of Korah, you know, said about God, say to the children of Israel, it couldn't go well with any rational mind. They say, even when the place you are standing seem to be giving way, do not fear. Who dare say that? You know, the earth, the very place that you find solace and, uh, you know, your feet, uh, they, they can f sense firmness. When it gives way, they tell them, do not fear. Such to a logical mind, it wouldn't, you know, uh, make any sense. Secondly, they tell them, even when mountains, you know, the large mountains which seem to uh, surround Jerusalem, seem to be falling on th onto the sea, onto the hearts of the sea. Friends, you know what? Do not fear. Even when those huge mountains, those trees on the top of those mountains, talk of those canopies, as they fall on the sea, on the heart of the sea, do not fear. As calamities fall after each other, do not fear. And then thirdly, they say, even if, you know, the turbulence of water grow weary, it was somebody who maybe was riding about to the children of Israel or the Israelites. You know, the Coralites tell them, do not be afraid. Do not fear. And down there they give the reason why the children of Israel, why the children the, 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 of God ought not to fear. God is their refuge. God is their strength during those turbulent moments. The Coralites again remind the children of Israel that almightiness of God. They say God is with God Almighty, the commander of, 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 in chief of the heavenly forces. He's right here with us. You know, he dwells with us. And as children of God, you, know, you ought not to fear when the commander you know, he has found an habitat, you know, in Jerusalem. Read with me verse 4. Verse 4, uh, verse 4 and verse 5. He says, there is a river whose streams make glad the city of God, the holy place where the most high dwells. God is within her. She will not fall. God will help her at, at, at the morning. Similar scripture is cited by John, the apostle John, at the Patmos in Revelation chapter 22 verse 1. He says, you can read with me. Revelation chapter 22 verse 1. John, he says, The angel of the Lord showed, showed me the river of the water of life, as clear as crystal, flowing from the throne of God and of the Lamb, you know, down the middle of the great streets of the city. On each side of the river stood the tree of life, bearing twelve crops of fruit, yielding its fruit every month. You know, similar river cited by the sons of Korah is cited by, by Apostle John to the church telling them there is that river that makes the city of God refreshed. And so are the children of Israel. The reason why you ought not to fear is because there is a river whose streams bring refreshment to you as the children of God. And beside that God has made Jerusalem his habitat. You know, he will help it in the morning. The surrounding nations seem to be an, on uproar. 
you know, towards Jerusalem. We seem to be on siege. You know, we seem to be on siege. He tells them, do not be afraid. You know, God, the, the commander in, 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 of, of the army of the heavenly forces, the almighty, the God of us is right here with us. And as children of God, you ought not to fret. You ought not to fear. You know, God has made Jerusalem his habitat, has made Jerusalem his home, and he will bring triumph to the city. This is the same message God is speaking to us, the church. When the church seemed to be in despair, when the church seemed to be wondering, is God still, you know, involved? Is God still listening to us? Is God still here to answer our prayers? Child of God, the scripture tells us God has made a home in the church. The church that he bought with his own blood. And as a child of God, we don't have any reason to fret even when other people seem to be fretting, seem to be fearing. There is that inner sense of peace that God brings to us. Even when things don't seem to, walk, to go the way we think they ought to be, there is that inner joy. And David elsewhere says, you know, the joy of God is my strength. The sons of Korah are reminding the children of God, you know, your strength is drawn from the Lord and God is dwelling in our midst. And for that essence, you ought not to fear. As we draw closer to our conclusion, the children of Korah or the sons of Korah again reminds their fellow Israelites, be still and know that I am God. I think similar remarks were mentioned by Jehoshaphat. I think in Chronicles, when the, the children of Israel were, were being attacked by their enemies and they were wondering, you know, what next? Even at, at such a season like this, the Koranites are telling the children of Israel, you know what? Be still. That is in verse 10. Be still and know that I am God. You know, God's majestic voice speaking to the sons of Israel through the Koranites, telling them, you know, you see those words are in quotation. Meaning they are on God's own word. Speaking to the children of Israel through the worshippers. Be still and know that I am God. You know, they are speaking about the assurance. They are speaking about the deliverance of God to the children of Israel. They are reminding them, you know, do not fret. Do not fear. You know, be still and know that I am present with you. And I will still deliver you out of this. They reminded the children of Israel of the former victories which God had provided for them. These former victories perhaps would form a solid ground upon which their faith would start upon. During such a time as this when we are in turbulent moments, would you recall of the seasons, of other seasons that God, you know, took you through and still be convinced and reminded if he did it yesterday, then he will also do it in this season we are at. One of the stories that's very famous, that which was very famous in the mouth or in the lips of my grandpa, because he passed and he went to be with the Lord, he could cite, you know, of, of a great famine of 70s, 80s. I wasn't there. He would, he would cite how uh, people would die while still holding on to money. While, you know, people would still die while food, the, 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 there was no food to purchase. But somehow, God made it through for them. That's why I would look back and say, you know, God was on our side. You know, the, 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 what God had accomplished to them made a solid ground upon which he would still look into the future and say God will still be involved and he will carry us through. So child of God, would you recall with me of what God perhaps has accomplished before and may it be a solid ground upon which our faith can rest and say yes, he did it yesterday to me. He carried me through maybe that sickness. Even in this, he's able to carry me through. You know, circumstances should not shipwreck our faith. Even if we hear COVID-19 is just around us. I'm not downplaying, you know, the effect and the consequences of, you know, COVID-19. And we are not by any means saying that we be careless. But God forbid, if he allows it to come near our door, you know, that's not the time to bang our faith and say, you know, enough, Lord, I've trusted upon you. 
those are the moments, you know, to say he did it when I was struggling with this and this. Even in this, I will still trust upon him because he's ever present help even in times of trouble. Our God does not change and is not changed by situations. Even, you know, when situation doesn't seem to go the way we think they ought to, our God still is involved. And I think as we draw to closure, three things comes, to, I mean, two things comes to my mind that I wish to remind us as children of God. If God is present, there is no need to fret. But if he's absent, there are, there are all reasons for you to fear. If God is not in the heart of you, you know, is not in the heart of you, there's all reasons to fret. But if God is in the heart of his child, there is no reason why his child should fear. Why? God has a way to, you know, bring peace in our heart. Peace that Paul cites elsewhere in Philippians. Peace that transcends all understanding. You know, that guards our mind, that guards our heart in Christ Jesus. You know, the peace that Apostle John talked about in John, that the world doesn't know about it. But the peace that God gives is not as the world giveth. And that peace is inheritance for they, those who trust in him. And so if you are a child of God, you ought to hold on to him. And there is no reason why you ought to fear. Because his inner peace that guards your heart, that, you know, he, 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 he dispenses. He will guard our hearts and he will guard our minds. And then secondly, God is ever present uh, even in times when we sense hopelessness. Even when we, the things and the structures we have trusted upon, they seem to be falling. You know, the ground under which we are standing on doesn't seem to support us any longer. You know, the, 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 the pipe that perhaps we are trusted for our provision does not seem, you know, to bearing fruit any longer. God is ever present help in times, even in times of trouble. And so, as a child of God, you have all the reasons to hold and wait upon him. Even during this season we are at, I am convinced in my heart God allowed it because he's God of all seasons. Perhaps he's using it to draw us closer to himself. He will still bring it to an end. And so as his people, what kind of focus ought to we, ought do we what kind of you know focus we ought to have is to lift our eyes to him and wait upon him because he's able and he will accomplish it in his due t in his due season. Again, as I call Pastor Moffat to come and pray with us. If God is not in your heart, you have all the reasons to fear because there is no security assured. There is no security for your heart. There is no security. When, and when I'm talking about security, it's not only now. It's not only about the things that we are facing. But even, you know, we talk about assured security, even about eternity. And so you have all the reason to fear now and even time to come. But if you have God within you, you don't have any reason to fear. And then God is our he present help even in times of trouble. May God really bless you. May God really uh, cause his word to form in your heart and bring revival upon our heart. My name is Philip Kimiti. I'm a minister here in Christ, the answer ministries here in Sitam Gov. May God truly do you well. Shalom. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you so much, Pasi. Thank you. Thank you so much. Let's let's pray. Wherever you are, just stretch your hands. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for your word. We thank you, everlasting Father God, for reminding us that you are present help in the time of need, everlasting Father, oh God. We thank you, everlasting Father, this afternoon because you are God in our lives, everlasting Father, oh God. Thank you because everlasting Father, you are still God. You are still on the throne, everlasting Father, oh God. And this afternoon, oh God, we want to remember our families, oh God. And we pray for our families, everlasting Father, oh God. 
that God, you will move in their lives everlasting, Father, oh God. We pray, Jehovah, my Father, for this nation, oh God. We pray, Jehovah, my Father, for our president, oh God. The cabinet, everlasting Father, oh God. Father, Lord, the minister of health and those that he's working with, oh God. We pray for them, everlasting Father. As a church, oh God, we pray for this nation, oh God, because we know, oh Father, that, oh God, the hearts of kings are, oh God, on your hands, oh God. So, Father, we pray for this nation, oh God. We pray for those who are affected, oh God, with COVID-19, Jehovah, my King and my God. The Lord, you will touch them, oh God. That, Lord, you will heal them, everlasting Father, oh God. You are our hope, oh God. We have no other hope, everlasting Father, oh God. But, oh Father, you are our hope, everlasting God. For your word tells us, oh God, that when we walk through the fire of deep darkness, oh God, oh Father, when we are defenseless as sheep, oh God, Father, Lord, when we call on you, oh Father, you tell us, oh God, that you are our shepherd, everlasting God. You are our shepherd, oh God. You are Jehovah God, the one to guide us, everlasting Father. So we pray, oh God, that you may guide this nation, oh God. That you may guide our families, oh God. That you may guide our children, everlasting Father, oh God. Oh, oh, Father, they have not been school everlasting, Father. Oh, God, you are our shepherd, oh, God. So, Father, may you lead us, everlasting, Father. May you guide us, so oh, everlasting, Father. Even when our families, Lord, and our lives, oh, Father, when we lie down, oh, Father, and feel overpowered, oh, God, by circumstances, by storms, everlasting, Father, oh, God, Lord, you always tell us, everlasting Father, that you are our Redeemer, Jehovah God. You are our Redeemer, everlasting Father. You are the one to fight for us, O oh God. So, Father, may you fight for us, O oh God. May you fight for families, everlasting Father, Lord God. Right now, Jehovah, my King and my God, that, O oh God, I have been overpowered by situations, everlasting Father, by circumstances, everlasting God. Oh God, you are our Redeemer, Jehovah, my Father. May you show yourself, oh God. You have continued providing us, oh God. And as Pastor Philip has reminded us, everlasting God, that you are the same God, oh Father. You are the same God who was there yesterday, oh Father. You are the same God today, my Father. May you provide everlasting Father for family that need you, everlasting God. Provide for them, everlasting God, oh Father. We thank you, Jehovah, my Father. Even, Lord, when we feel small, oh God, vulnerable, Jehovah God, afflicted, oh Jehovah, my King and my God, oh God, we call you, oh Father, our Creator, Jehovah God. We call you, Jehovah God, faithful God, everlasting Father. So, Lord, you're still faithful. You're still faithful, Jehovah God. Even when we are stubborn, oh God, when we are unbelieving, oh Jehovah, my Father, when, oh Jehovah God, we are rebellious, everlasting Father, Lord, you still faithful, Jehovah, my Father, when we are unfaithful to you, Jehovah God, you are still faithful, Jehovah, my God. So, Father, we thank you, my King and my God, and we worship you, everlasting Father, oh God. We want to pray, Jehovah, my King and my God, for families that are going, oh Jehovah God, through difficult times, oh God. They have lost, oh Father, their loved ones, oh God. All their relatives are in hospitals, everlasting God. Father Lord, may you remember these families, oh God. May you remember them, Jehovah, my Father family that needs finances oh God. Father Lord may you remember them oh God may you oh Father Lord remember families oh, everlasting Father oh God even as a church we go through this family month oh God Father Lord we are calling on your name oh Father. We are calling on your name everlasting Father oh God that you shall intervene oh Father 
in our families everlasting God Father Lord we pray for peace oh God in families oh Father that, that, that are divided oh God because of circumstances oh Father and especially this season of COVID-19 oh God when there is no finances everlasting Father when there is no jobs everlasting God Father we call on your name oh God you are our redeemer Jehovah so I remember those families everlasting God and I pray that Jehovah God that you may move in those houses everlasting God in the mighty name of Jesus oh God change the hearts of oh God our mothers oh father change the hearts of our fathers everlasting God change the hearts of our children everlasting God so that Jehovah God they may know you oh father as the creator my king and my God father we thank you and we honor you oh God when oh Jehovah God your servants oh father they went through storms of life and famine oh God father Lord you always promise them oh God that you are with them oh God you always tell them that I am who I am I am with you oh father so father Jehovah God we know that you are in us oh God we know that you're in you're, you're inside oh father our families everlasting father you're inside our houses oh God so father Lord we worship you my God we exalt your holy name everlasting father oh God we believe in you Jehovah my father oh God many Jehovah God have lost their jobs oh father and Father, I want to remember them, Jehovah God. Those who have lost their jobs, oh God. Those who have lost, oh Father, businesses, oh God. Father, Lord, I want to remember them this afternoon, oh God. Father, Lord, you are able, Jehovah God, to restore, my God. May you restore, Jehovah God. Restore businesses everlasting, Father, oh God. Restore jobs everlasting, God, oh God. Restore jobs, my God. Restore businesses everlasting, Father, oh God. Because our hope, oh Father, it is not in any other things, oh God. Our, our, our hope, oh Father, it is not in, oh Father, our jobs, oh God. But our hope, oh Father, it is in you, everlasting God. So we pray that Jehovah, my Father, that you may move, oh God, in our families, oh God. In our lives, everlasting Father, oh God. We pray that Jehovah, my Father, that you may take, oh God, over our families, oh God. You may take over our lives, everlasting Father, oh God. To those who are working right now, who are viewing us, oh God, when they are working, everlasting Father, I pray, Jehovah, my Father, oh God, that also them, that you will remember them. You will strengthen them, everlasting Father, oh God. You will protect them, oh Father, from this disease, oh God. From this pandemic, everlasting Father, God. Like how you, you, you protect Jerusalem with hills, everlasting Father. Father, Lord, may you protect us, everlasting Father, Lord. As we walk, oh, Father, as we drive, everlasting Father, God. As we are in Matatus, oh, Father, Lord, protect us, everlasting Father, because you are able to protect us, oh, God. May you protect us, everlasting Father, oh, God. Because you are a faithful God, we worship you, everlasting Father. And we magnify your holy name everlasting God. For there is no other God like you, O Father. We have no other God like you, O God. So Father, we bow down this afternoon and worship you. We bow down, O Father, and exalt your name. Because you are our healer, Jehovah God. Because everlasting Father, you change situations, O God. And you are changing situations, everlasting Father. We pray even for the number so far, though, of those who have been affected, oh God. Every day the government everlasting Father is giving us information, oh God. And Father Lord, most of the time we feel, oh God, hopeless, oh Father. But oh Father, through Pastor Philip, you have reminded us, oh God, that we should put our hope in you, oh God. So Father, we pray, Father, that you would bring that number down, everlasting Father. All for the glory and honor of your holy name, everlasting Father. 
So we thank you, O God, and we exalt your holy name, everlasting Father, because you're a faithful God, and you remain to be faithful, everlasting God. Thank you for such an opportunity, O God. Thank you for such a platform, everlasting God, that we can be able to minister hope, O Father, Lord, to generations, O God. So, Father, we thank you. As a church, O God, we pray that you may continue to increase us, O God, all for the glory and honor of your holy name. And it is in Jesus' name do I pray and believe. Amen, amen and amen and amen. Thank you so much, our viewers, for joining us this afternoon. And we pray that God will continue to bless you. We pray that God will continue to lead you and to guide you in all your ways. We trust God that you will continue also to protect you as you're going on with, with, your, with, with your job, as you're going, out, uh, you're going out, doing your errands. We pray that the Lord will bless you. And I want to invite uh, those people who, um, who would want to give their life to Christ. Maybe you are there and you're saying, I want to give my life. I want to, I want to accept Christ Jesus into me, into my life. I want to accept Jesus Christ into my life. I have been spiritually dis disabled, but I want that light of our Lord Jesus Christ. Just, just pray after me. Say, Lord Jesus, you are sovereign over everything. You gave your son Jesus Christ to die on the cross. Save me. Wash me with the blood of Jesus. I declare that I'm born again. And I will serve the living God. In Jesus name. Amen and amen and amen. If you are praying that prayer, let me pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus. Your word tells us that you are able to sustain, O oh God, those who come to you, O oh Father. Father, Lord, may you sustain everyone who have believed, O oh Father, that prayer everlasting, Father. It is not the prayer, Jehovah, my Father, but it is the believing in you, O oh Father, that you removed people, you always remove someone from darkness, from the kingdom of darkness to the kingdom of the Son that you love, O oh God. So, Father, may you sustain them wherever they are everlasting father in jesus name do we pray and believe amen and amen and amen thank you for those who have prayed that prayer and if you will want uh people to walk with you just comment and say that you need uh you need you need somebody to walk with you you need a pastor to talk to you you need an elder to talk to you please may you go ahead and do that maybe you'll want to give i uh, want to invite you you know, to give through our MPESA line, 933-943. And if you're writing a check, uh, write a check to the Christ is the Answer Ministries. At, at the back, don't forget to write Sitam Gong or the assembly that uh, maybe you're from another Sitam assembly. Don't forget to write it at the back. Thank you so much for viewing and for staying there as we are giving hope to the world. Thank you so much. May God may God bless you. Praise and worship. You take quiet soon. You take quiet soon. Take what is true.